Hey guys, welcome back to Espanol Republicano. We I might be saying that a little bit too Italian, but uh yeah. Back here in this game where I declared war on the Germans last episode because for one well, there's actually two I guess there's actually a couple reasons why I would declare war on the Germans, but um one of them would be that like um they were starting to win a lot of their battles up here in the UK, and I feel like if the UK are completely gone, the Germans will just have too easy of a time to defeat us. Um, plus, we we just did what we needed to do. We conquered Yugoslavia, so why not use those Yugoslavian troops to go like destroy the rest of these guys? Um, but on the flip side, that kind of did create a bad front for everyone. Hopefully, though, all my hopefully the Soviet Union will be able to push in because honestly, they start out in a way better position than the actual Soviet Union did when they were originally trying to invade Germany. But what else? We also we do need kind of something else though. We need kind of that D-Day to happen so that it opens up a new front. Because as as good as as I know my troops are, I feel like I'm about to get crushed by them. I'm also putting more troops in charge. Everyone, go! Oh my goodness, yeah, I'm starting, my line's starting to die already. We haven't even really begun the fight, and my line's already starting to die. Oh gosh, that, that's not good. So that's probably not going to end very well. Um, Let's see, those are my men. Those are my men. Those are my men. Yeah. That's not exactly the happiest moment of my life when I know that my men are just all the way over here in random, in random, uh, you know it, Stan. So... Let's see, province, yeah, the Germans, like I said, I just don't have the troops to fight the Germans. As much as I would like to think I do, I just don't. So this is why I put myself on defensive stance. I was hoping maybe I could um, hold out as long as I can. Um, I'm, I'm basically, basically what this is, is that we're diverging troops from the other line so that maybe the Russians will have an easier time over here. But once I'm gone out of this game... It's probably most likely going to crush the crush the Russian Empire. Because as you guys can see, the Russians aren't exactly the smartest people in this game. At least in this game, they aren't. So, yeah. Our units are under attack. Yeah, and look at that. Panzer Divisions versus my six mountain men. We are going to win this very easily. Or we aren't going to win this. Let's see. Let's see. But we do have a lot of troops helping out our good friends of Russia. And Russia did, if, if I must be honest with you, Russia is really, really in a good position right now. Even if I fall, they're still in a very, very good position. And honestly, uh, Germany will not be able to conquer me because I have a little secret for them. This little province right here that I conquered, the one that has like zero supplies. Wait, does he have supplies? No. Um, oh, I was still hoping that for a second. Zero supplies, but you know what it is? You want to see what it is, people? I didn't realize this until I was looking it up, but that's actually a victory point. So, even if I was to somehow vanish from the face of the earth, which is a very highly possibility, because look at this, the Germans are just blitzkrieging me now. Um, I'm still going to be alive, because I'm still going to have like one province. So, we'll be able to see this all play out. Don't worry, people. We'll be able to see this all play out and see how this new world war is going to end. But for us to actually survive this, probably not going to happen. We're probably going to all get smattered and bashed and many other nasty things that you don't want to know about. Okay. Our supplies is already starting to crumble and we haven't even really done much yet. As you guys can see, my most of my troops are now retreating at a rapid amount of pace. They're broken. They're definitely broken. We can't... There's nothing I can really do about it. They're broken. They're definitely broken. Oh my goodness. Hopefully the Soviets will be able to free Poland. I'm I'm really hoping that we can free Poland before the before they like completely destroy me. Yes, they freed Poland. Okay, with them freeing Poland, that basically means that Poland's now going to start making troops and advancing the uh, against the uh, Germans, which is what we kind of need. We kind of need the Germans to be like pushed back as much as they can be, and with the uh, help of our good friends, the Polish, I'm pretty sure they will be. But at the same time, how likely is it that I will live? Probably not very likely, as you guys can see. Yeah, I'm already, I already lost most of Aragon, Navarra, and most of all this type of land. I'm trying to defend myself. Very hardcore. I'm trying to defend myself, but... Uh, let's see. Why do you guys not come pre-ordained to go attach the units? My goodness, you guys are... 
some some men I swear I swear dude some men okay but it does the good thing about this though is it seems like the Germans are slowing down just a little bit it seems like the more they get into my land they seem to be dying just slowly and surely which is nice it is nice we could probably because they're probably gonna have to put more troops over here to the front which means we'll have a bigger chance of like surviving look at this Poland's almost conquered back all of its land that's good oh my goodness okay I don't need to know every single display and log show open up a pop-up window okay there we go I don't need to see every single little battle okay I think every I think it's nice to see a lot of things we have lost the province I think losing provinces is actually something that you should see um do I really need to see this event too nah I don't really need to see like individual troop movements it doesn't really I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose this at least I'm hoping what I'm hoping though guys is that I'm going to be able to, to provide enough of distraction so that maybe America can come and do D-Day which would be really nice America come do D-Day the, the Germans are perfectly waiting I mean they literally have their people if D-Day would happen now what would happen is that we'd have a three-way front me UK or uh, America UK and the Russian Empire all of us crushing in that would be an awesome event Looks like the Russian Empire is also winning their wars, it seems like, because they've already, like, conquered this little part right here. They're crushing pretty hard into Hungary, which is nice. Let's see, is there any, like, victory conditions we need to get for Hungary? Let's see. I don't need to see these. Okay, open up pop-up window. No. Don't you dare open up pop-up window. Okay, yes, I lost land, I can admit that. Let's see, if they can... Oh, man, if they... If my allies could just get these four provinces right here, if they was, if the AI responded, if they got those four provinces, we could end a big gigantic threat to our empire right here. Once that's done with, then we could easily like go conquer everything else. But let's see. Russia seems to be doing fairly fine, actually. They seem to have been. The only problem is that they seem to have been completely pushed back over here. Um, not exactly the best thing to ever happen to them. I'm going to be honest. But over here, it looks like we are just holding the front and actually starting to win. It seems like, yeah, it seems like the Romanians down here are taking back all this, and we have one province. Yeah! Oh, my goodness. And then over here, I'm apparently taking all of Iraq. Sure, why not? I'm taking Iraq. Uh, you'll probably be the only unit left, I'm just saying. Oh, gosh. So... Yeah, despicable that we lost more provinces. I can't really stop the Germans, but um, I am going to... Let's see, what else do we need? Maybe I could... Maybe more tech would help. Maybe. I don't know. We're all researching that. That's good. Uh, yeah, if I... if Next time if I play this, I probably should go a little bit more armored divisions. That would have probably been smart. Uh, I just... It's hard to work as Spain, especially considering you don't have... This game is definitely different than EU... EU4 and Victoria 2 in the sense that you have literally about 12 years and then the game ends. You have to invent things at an insanely fast rate. Oh yes, I think we're crushing, I think we're crushing your Hungarian line. Alright, and I just created more units. A nuclear reactor, well, I'll go create the nuclear reactor right here in Seville. In Seville? Why? Because, uh... Actually, I don't know why. Well, maybe because this will be, it's the farthest province away from the Germans right now. And if, if my people were to somehow survive, I think that'd be the only place that they might survive. I mean, might. The rest of them, we would probably die. I mean, we might be able to hold out right here because maybe the British will be like, Oh, Scallywags, we're not going to let you conquer our good friends, the Spanish Empire. Yeah, 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 yeah. And let's see. It seems like the UK are actually starting to push back the Germans into Scotland. That's good, I guess. Poland right now is getting is looking really weird. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm pretty sure that's a bad thing because it looks like the Germans are making a really good drive right here. Actually, if they could like go to Danschnik and conquer that region right there, they could have a really good front. Um, ooh, it might be. Let's see. We conquered all of this part. That's good. Now we just need to start pushing all the Italians. We have the Italian army kind of divided into two right now. Like one down here, one up there. Uh, but we also, it's also very hard for us to move in. We have many fronts to deal with. Oh my goodness. My men over here. 
My man over here just kind of conquering stuff because why not? Oh, and then uh, the British over here are also pushing. I'm pretty sure they're pushing. Hopefully they're pushing because I'm providing enough of a distraction for them. I'm hoping that they will actually be able to push. Oi. Let's see. Ah. It seems like it, it's... Oh, yeah. Look at our land. Our land is just like... Now, uh, they don't even... Yeah, I think they destroyed my HQ unit. Um, Man, they aren't even like doing anything now. Now, these guys are the ones controlling everything. Can they actually reach this unit over here? No, they can't. Okay, but at least... I still got my islands. If there's anything, I still got my islands. I still got some control over my uh, stuff. I feel happy of that. But over here, this is where the real front is. Let's see if Russia can... Oh, man, they're going to have to do a finished Patriots. I forgot about that. Just as the Militia Men event that helped us out, that saved us a lot of time, fire for us. It's going to also fire for the uh, other people, too. So that's not going to be good. Okay, we have lost a province. Soon I'll stop losing provinces, people, because I'll have no more to lose. Yay! But it seems like it seems like the Germans are moving in at a rapid rate. Um, you know, I really don't know who's gonna win this. Honestly, it really looks like it's a tie. And because for some reason D-Day did not happen for like the UK or any of these guys, I, I would have assumed D-Day would have happened by now. But they are just not doing D-Day. Uh, we will, it might turn out, we actually might lose this entire war. And let's see, I want to see if the British could actually hold themselves. If they don't have, oh no, did Poland join the, uh, the, uh, people, evil people? Um, let's see, did they? I'm not sure. They might have, though. They might have. That might have been my doing. Oh man, now let's see, we're just conquering all this. They seem to be, they, the Germans seem to be very content about giving Poland back their land. Either that or rebels, no, 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 they, they're very content about giving Poland back their land. Yeah, <laughs> that makes me feel sad. Well, all that hard work for nothing, people. Germany, you look mondo-y scary. You look kind of like Napoleon, actually, now that I think about it. Because you have, like, all of Spain, all of Germany. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And then over here, we're somehow... Persia's somehow getting their butts kicked by the Italian troops that are in Africa. Which is kind of sad, because usually Italy doesn't have that many troops over here, so... It's like... Yeah. Uh, all of the allies, it seems like... It seems like... Italy just lost all of its troops. Okay. Italy just lost... I mean, not Italy, um... Yugoslavia. Just lost a lot of its troops. And, oh my goodness, yeah, this is turning out very badly for us. Somehow, we lost Yugoslavia in this war. That's a very sad event. Um, it can't really be helped. Germans definitely now going to do a major push now they got me defeated. They also took Gibraltar, which was kind of shocking. And Poland and Portugal, you are back inside this game. You're literally the last independent country now. Please! For the love of Benji, conquer to the Normandy invasion. Aye, or push the Germans out. That could also be a good idea, UK. I'm pretty sure you have more men in that in that little island of yours than they actually have up here. You just need to use them. Okay, over here it looks like all my land that was belonging to me was being conquered. Looks like they're making a pretty good push up here. The only... See, the problem with the Germans is that even if they make a big gigantic push and push the Russians all the way back to here, it doesn't really matter. The Russian winter just destroys all their men. That's the good part about this, is that we can always rely on the Russian winter to make sure everything ends in a very uh, correct way. Now, I don't know why these troops have not been like moving into like Africa and being holding the uh, line right here. This is why, that's what I would have done. I would have like conquered all the way to right here, hold the line so that we can easily do stuff, but of course the AI is a little bit less sophisticated than the human players. That's what I would have done. So yeah, we're still researching technology, we're still doing our best even though we are completely conquered and we have absolutely no IBM to do much. In fact, what we can build is just the Lunda HQ. Whatever the Lunda HQ needs, we're going to build for it. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think... 
it seems like the Italian might, the Italian might, and the, uh, all these guys are just crushing Doom. Yeah, I think, oh man, Germany and Force conquered Poland again. Oh man, that's not good. That's not good. So now they're conquered again, which means Russia might be messed over now. The fact that the the fact they're moving in this well proves to you that this is probably going to end not not win, probably in our defeat. Yeah, we're being kicked out of everywhere now. Look at that. We're just being kicked out of everywhere. Oh my goodness, this is the end of this is the end of the Soviet Union. I think I may have brought them. Oh my goodness, this is. Hey, look, we have one soldier. Yay! Wait, we have one piece of land that apparently I can see. Wait, can I see? No, they're just. Oh. Jerks, you didn't let me keep it. Okay. So apparently I still get militia men. And apparently they got my islands. I'm kinda sad that they got my islands. And oh yeah. I'm basically done for. Um now it just basically comes down to can the Soviet Union win this? Can the Soviet win Union win this? Uh I don't know. Winter hasn't come yet. Just we'll wait until winter, because then we'll figure out if the Russians uh, are going to be able to win this? They, I would have thought they should have because they have little, they have literally, they had a better front than they did in actual World War Two. But you know, this game kind of surprises me a lot. So, you know, just yeah, let's find out. Let's see. You guys, please go cut off this this one unit that's somehow causing you guys difficulties. That's pretty stupid. I'm just gonna tell you that now. That's pretty stupid. This is also pretty stupid. Why have you guys not moved in anymore? Literally, you guys have more troops there. Go move in. And let's see. You kill them already, Great Britain. Gosh dang, Great Britain. Kill them. Also, Norway, you're back. Yay! Oh, man. Okay. So, Germany seems to be winning this war now. Quite frankly, we are getting... Oh, wow. Like, when you just zoom out and watch this, it is like a major de destruction. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I don't know how the Italians became this powerful. Like, they didn't move in at all, but somehow they became this, like, massively overpowered nation. Oh, my goodness. And then, like, oh, my goodness, Turkey, no. Put some, like, put some, like, uh, ships there so they can't cross the strait. <laughs> Works for me all the time. <laughs> uh, conquered Romania. Yep, yep. And now, J oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. This is not good. Uh, it's, it's, oh my goodness. Look at that push, guys. This is. This is. Oh my goodness, how close are they to Moscow? If they make it, basically, to, as, as I always say, if the Germans make it to Moscow, they usually win the game. If they can't make it to Moscow, then usually the Russians can come back through some really BS tactics, but yeah. Oh my goodness, they're already this close. Oh my, how do they have this many troops? Ah man, I gotta look at the ledger at some point and see like what they have. Great Patriarch War, the fascist invaders may have driven us back into the deep of the Soviet, but Red Army has no efficiency to something. Does that basically mean you guys are actually going to start actually fighting? Do I need to actually do a special event for you guys to actually start fighting? Okay, Turkey, please do not let the Italians beat you. I would be very sad if the Italians start to beat you, especially in your own home country, and you should have home room advantage. Especially since you guys could probably crush all these little tiny units and then start moving in. Seriously, you guys still have the advantage. Okay. Oh my goodness, wow. The Soviet did a major push. The already at St. Petersburg's gates. Oh my goodness. The or the right there. That's Moscow. That's the so that's the Germans. Okay. This is Oh my goodness. This is going to be tense, everyone. I, I don't think they're gonna be able to do it though. I, I believe that we're done for. They just don't have enough men anymore. All the men were destroyed in like various conflicts. S also, screw you, Britain, for not doing D-Day. Okay? Screw you. Oh, and look, there's all these rebellions too. 
They're all signatures of like what you're supposed to be doing right now. All these rebellions that we all teamed up, we probably could win this. Uh, oh my goodness. Well guys, it seems like you guys won't find out to see if the Soviet Union are going to die this episode. Uh, we're going to find out if they are going to die next episode, but I'm having... Oh my goodness, I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.